are you sad because you can't seem to impress your college instructors? Are you wasting box after box of slides just to get that perfect smear? Then you have come to the right place. Spicy MedTech here, and in this video, I will teach you how to make a perfect blood smear. So, what makes a blood smear desirable? First, the smear should have a gradual shift from a thick film to a thin film. Second, it should occupy two-thirds of the slide. Anything more or less would make it undesirable. Third is that it should not touch any of the edges of the slide. And lastly, there should be no holes. So, to make a perfect smear, one must follow four simple letters. A, S, A, P. A for angle, S for speed, A for amount of blood, and P for pressure. I will be showing you sample slides if these conditions aren't met. Take a look at these two slides. The slide at the left and the right. The slide at the left had a shallow angle, while the slide at the right had an angle too steep. The next is speed. The left slide shows you what happens when you push the slide too slowly. You can see the blood accumulation at the edge. The right slide shows you what happens when the slide is pushed too fast. The next is the amount of blood. Take a look at the left slide. The smear is too small and too light, while the right slide is too dark and too thick for proper microscopic evaluation. This fourth pair shows you what happens when the pressure is too hard or too light. When done too hard, the smear is expected to have ridges. If done too gently, we can expect that blood will not reach the end of the smear. So, for the procedure, we need a drop of blood just outside the frosted part of the glass. We then take our spreader slide and start easing it towards the drop as you pull it backwards. Once the drop of blood spreads at the edge of the spreader, we push following ASAP. And there you have it, a perfect blood smear. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. 